back. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention released its plan to deal with Zika in the U.S. The director of Dallas Health and Human Services, Zach Thompson, joins us this morning. Good morning. Thank Good morning. you for being here, first of all. So I read that health officials are not expecting big outbreaks like in Latin America and Caribbean here, which kind of puzzled me because we've got the same mosquitoes here. We've had the same problems as, you know, other mosquito-related illnesses. So why is it different here? Why, why are you expecting it to be different? Well, we're hoping that as residents come back from those endemic countries where we're seeing the Zika outbreak, that they would check with their primary physician. The key point, is, and this is a great plan by CDC, to bring in strike teams to look at situations. So if you have one case, we can immediately address that one case, that one uh, domestic case that could be in Dallas County or in the United States, and okay. you really could uh, stop the spread of the Zika virus in terms of narrowing it down to that one specific case. Our concern is one case, one impact on a pregnant uh, mother and the potential for the birth defect is one too many. But reality says that basically we're going to see a localized transmission in the United States. Now, I was talking with you before this interview, and basically you said, you know, for, for West Nile right now, a trap tests positive, and then you guys come in and attack it, right. attack that area with the spray. But that's not going to be the case. You can't really do that with Zika, right? It has to be a right. human case. That's right. One of the things that we're looking at is changing the mindset of Dallas County residents. We started out talking about mosquito traps and West Nile virus. In the case of Zika virus, mm -hmm. we are monitoring or doing surveillance on imported cases that arrive here to ensure that our mosquitoes, here's the key, we're protecting our mosquitoes from those who have come from those endemic countries. And so if you're carrying a Zika virus, you'll be asked to stay in your home and not go out where mosquitoes might bite you because the transmission starts from the human Zika virus to the mosquitoes. There is no localized uh, mosquitoes, Zika virus carrying mosquitoes in Dallas County. But that, that we know change. of yet, yes. That we yes. know of. Okay. So the CDC released this plan. It's 57 pages. I was looking through it all. It's basically like a tiered plan. It goes in, it goes from providing information all the way to having like these CDC response teams that mm -hmm. would move into an area um, if there are human cases sure. in that area. And um, as, as, as soon as we do have mosquitoes, I mean, you have said personally that it's just a matter of time before the mosquitoes in our area have it. If that does happen, what, what, are, what actions will be in place? What, what will happen? Well, what's going on right now is the actions are already ongoing. Uh, tomorrow we meet with our cities. We're doing trapping. We're monitoring uh, those individuals who uh, definitely travel to those endemic countries and come back. We have seven imported cases, confirmed Zika cases in Dallas County. Mm -hmm. And so the reality is, is that if there's a localized case, we will do the monitoring, we would do the surveillance, and we would do the ground spraying, mm -hmm. uh, and definitely around the home of that uh, confirmed case. And then we have to go in 150 yards into the neighboring areas of that house to also mitigate any transmission of the Zika virus. Mm -hmm. Zika has been around for a long time. There are a lot of women who are pregnant like me that I've heard from who feel like the government's not doing enough to stop Zika. What do you say to those people? Well, I think you, it's been around since 1947. We've seen it now in the impact in uh, Latin American countries. The concern is, is that we're dealing with this, the vector-borne illnesses mm -hmm. is a, definitely a challenge. But right. the key point is protect yourself. Uh, make sure you're using mosquito repellent. Make sure that you avoid mosquito bites. And above all, check with your primary physician if you think you've been beaten, bitten by a mosquito right. that could be carrying the Zika virus. But we don't have any localized uh, cases here in Dallas County. Okay. We're going to put more information about the CDC's plan. Uh, you can look at the 57 pages as well and all the details there uh, on our website, fox4news.com. Thank you for coming in here. Yeah. We appreciate it. Fight the bites. Yeah, trying to be on top of it before That's it gets right. here, right? That's all, pretty much all you can do right now. Coming up here on Good Day.